those are our corporate. We have this medical, wonderful, amazing medical board that shares a whole lot of data with us. And we always bring it to the early hour so we can uh, always share this awareness, right? That's the whole point of what we do here is to share knowledge and be able to live better lives. That's the whole point. Data. So let's make sure that our uh, Zoom here is mute out so you guys can hear okay cool. cool yay welcome everybody cool so we're live on facebook as well so we are live on facebook two cameras again so if you look this way and this way it's because we are on two uh different places and uh today i'm excited that we have uh, dr carla she hasn't been on oily hour with us and she kindly um, accepted my invitation to be here and talk um, about one of the, I would say most important topics of today, right? Which is mental health. Um, before I introduce her, I will also uh, talk a little bit about our schedule for the month. So we get to be together this month in person uh, I'm so excited. Who's excited about being together again? I, I, I'm a, I'm a, I, I'm a, a fan of being with people. I'm a fan of visiting people in their homes, uh, stopping by. You know, in Brazil, we have this thing that you stop by for little coffee. That's how we call it. And cafezinho. You don't even let people know that you're coming over. You just knock on their door because you're in the area. And that's such a common thing for, for us to do as Brazilians, right? Carla's from Brazil too. And we are in Hawaii, which is also very connected to the culture of Brazil, which is community and uh, being able to have this liberty, this freedom of stopping by people's homes, right? So for me to be able to see people again has been such a gift. So this uh, last month I was gone for almost six weeks in Brazil and some of the other countries in South America. And I got to see a lot of people. I got to hug a lot of people and that is healing. Being able to hug people, being able to see people is one of my main ways of healing and one of my main ways of bringing healing to the world, right? So I'm gonna keep inviting you all to keep doing that. Keep seeing people. We all need to be seen and touched right now um, and, and, and hugged. You know, this is very, a very important time for that. So we get to go to leadership um, and leadership retreat, it's called in doTERRA. So if you're not part of our doTERRA world, uh, doTERRA does this uh, leadership retreats every year. And we get to share our experiences, be together, and truly is uh, part of our culture, right? It's, it's a, a way for us to share this, um, this community feel, but also we get a lot of create creative ideas out of it. And I come out very much, uh, much more productive than when I first arrived in leader at leadership. And this year we're gonna do it in Phoenix. We were supposed to have it in 2020 and then the whole thing uh, started. So then we didn't have it, but now we're gonna have it finally. And I am super excited to also foster innovation because that's what I see from these events when we have retreats together it really creates this innovative um, organization you know that that's why I think uh, doTERRA is very special because it's it's a big collective um, innovative company that's how I, I describe doTERRA it's just a big family and we are all kind of geared toward the same thing which is help people connect help people get inspired and help people get educated and for ourselves too to get educated so we are, we're always on both sides right being a student and, and teaching at the same time so we have today so i asked carla to come on here today because march is mental health awareness month and i'm gonna introduce um carla she is a holistic psychologist and uh, nutritionist which is very not common to see that combination but it should be more and more it should be. She talks a whole lot about the, the mind and gut connection. And that is one of the most important things that we should be focusing on right now. Uh, she, um, she went to uh, National Lewis University in Chicago. And also she graduated in, from Harvard University in Boston in neuropsychology. She's also specialized in brain health 
for, by Amen University in California and Integrative Therapies uh, by EID in Brazil. So she's got a very extensive uh, curriculum there. But more than that, Carla is a mother of three, three beautiful girls. And we have a very similar lifestyle and that's how we connected. And um, it's beautiful to see professionals that not only talk the talk, but walk the walk. So Carla is one of them. She lives what she teaches. And I would love to uh, welcome Dr. Carla today. Welcome Dr. Carla. Such, yeah. Can you guys hear me? Okay, now you can. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, thank you for having me. I think this uh, month is a very special one. So um, we can really empower ourselves and really understand that mental uh, health is really important and it starts from very early ages. Um, I think we really need to understand that it's not, you know, one you know, solution for all the problems. It's a very complex type of um, diagnosis. And the more we understand about our body and the complexities, the more we can thrive and, you know, go through and those mental, especially during the pandemic struggles, I would say mental struggles that we all have to go through, but we can all can learn from it. So it's, it's necessary but you know sometimes it's hard and i'm very glad to be here to empower more and more people mentally physically and holistically i would say thank you pam for having me i love that and i love the the word holistic you know we got um a little overused just like gratitude and empowerment but it is important to understand the holistic uh, view of everything holistic life right um you have to to understand that you're going to live happy if you have balance you know areas of life can you be balanced 100 percent of the time no but you can have balance in most uh, uh the, most of the time of your life which is the key right so yeah. one of the things that carla and i have been uh, presenting on in brazil a whole lot is called the foundation of life and that talks we talk about the mind and gut connection the the importance of the the gut right and i'm gonna hook this to one of the things that we have been implementing and i feel super happy that she's been doing this as a professional and as a psychologist is to uh, utilize the curated uh, kits that doTERRA has to help um, with certain things more specifically like mental health. And it's also connected to the digestive health. So we have the digestive wellness kit that is beautifully curated for a reason, right? And Carla and I talked about this. Um, it's so cool to be able to trust uh, a company to put it together for us. All we gotta do is make sure that we educate people on it, right? And they will yeah. have incredible results. And the third month of the digestive kit is this month. And he has one of the things that probably you love the most, Carla, because you talk about this all the time, which is probiotics for children and the yep. importance of the microbiota. Yes, yes, it is so. I mean, we have to understand that years and years, thousands of years ago, Hippocrates said every disease starts in the gut. And that's the same thing for mental health. If you have any type of mental, it could be even migraines because migraine really causes a lot of anxiety and depression if you have strong migraines. So every single mental um, dysfunction you have, you do have something related with your gut. Um, you Sometimes you don't digest well or you, you just go a lot or you don't go at all or you want to eat a lot or you don't want to eat at all right there is no way for you to point one person who has any type of mental um dysfunction that does not have any gut issues so to embrace that and to understand that in order for you to treat you uh so for you to feel more focused or energized or with less panic attacks you have to understand what you're eating and probiotics is our soldiers it's what makes us stronger um 
And obviously, unfortunately, I'm not against medication, but if you are taking medication and if you do have to take medication, uh, you do have to for sure take probiotics because at least you're kind of compensating your gut. Uh, but unfortunately, most of the times when we're, when we're treating mental uh, health, we are over diagnosing and over medicating. Uh, most of the times with changes on our diet, exercising, uh, vitamin D, B12, you know, and doTERRA does have a very good foundation to give us this type of support um, in terms of gut and mental, because gut and men mental health is totally uh, connected. And that's why yeah. I just love it. Yeah. Um, Dr. Carla, I remember when we were talking about um, the use like, of an antibiotic, it takes about three years, right, for the gut to regenerate. And yes. that was very shocking to me, um, especially because when we talk about little ones and a little background for the ones that we have not um, met yet, uh, we our children have never taken anything synthetic. We've been able to take care of the, the little things daily emergencies, right, with very natural solutions, right? And that's why we speak a lot about this. It's because it, we've been doing it. We're not just talking it. Again, we're, we're walking the walk. So when, when I learned from Carla that in the first three years is when your, basically your gut is, is made up, right? You have three yes. years to build that, or you have three years to destroy that. So yes. give us a little bit of the, the, the overview of that. What does that look like? Yeah, so the first three years, and it's very interesting because now we're, not, now we're learning more about why autistic diagnosis, it's been the first two years and a half that we can really start. It's just because our gut is starting to have its personality. It's really a personality which is thriving for certain foods, which is thriving to focus or not focus, to be hyper, not hyper. It's basically, we have been building our soldiers, our chemistries, whatever you want to, because basically we are, we are buds. We are filled, we are a tube of a human being filled of buds inside, and we are feeding them. So the personality starts to show up between two and a half and three years of age. And then that's when parents start, okay, why is this hyper? Why my child is hyper? Why my child is not focusing? Why he's not paying attention? And it, doctors uh, are now, real, some of doctors who are holistic are now realizing that it has to do with what they're eating. If you really pay attention to kids who are very hyper, they usually like a lot of gluten right related food a lot of uh, uh mac and cheese or a lot of um anything related to cheese and milk and chocolate and sweets which there is a lot of studies saying it is correlated to your hyperactivity right or a lot of unfortunately even supplements with kids you know they put color added and flavor that are artificial for me it's like why <laughs> Why do you do that with kids? There is no, not any reason for you to do that. So if you take a look at all the supplements or even coughing, if your child is coughing, just go there and read the ingredients behind those cough syrups. It's full of dyes and artificial ingredients that we're feeding the gut of our children. And obviously we're going to have those kids who are hyper right? So if we really pay attention to what we're feeding, the quality of the food that we're feeding the first three years, it's so sad. So my goal as a, a, an educational psychologist is to really educate parents. Just let's be careful. If your kid really only wants to eat bread and pasta, try to, in your tomato sauce, try to add spinach and you know beets you know because they cannot see so you just blend it and i usually do that a lot my tomato sauce has so many vegetables it has carrots in it beets it has spinach and a cilantro and the kids just oh great tomato sauce and they don't see it because mentally if you see it a green sometimes the kid does not want to eat right that's how men our mental power um so there are so many things that we can do in tricks uh, for kids to eat more uh, diversity because we need a diverse type of gut. And yes, antibiotics is overused, 
sometimes doctors they just say just take it i've been there uh one of my kids just as a very short story one of my kid when he she when i came to hawaii she was having a lot of eye infection a lot of eye infection and people say it's because of the clean it's very humid so i took her to i was treating her with tea tree you know some oils but it was coming back and my my husband said take to the eye doctor just to see what is going on so i took to the eye doctor the eye doctor said oh, we don't know exactly what it is let's take a sample take to the lab to see if it's bacteria or virus but just in case take these antibiotics <laughs> because you know and i said but you don't know if it's a bacteria or, you know how, uh, it's an allergic rea allergic reaction and he said no just take it and he said i was very um he was losing me and he said are you going to take the this are you going to give those to your kid and i said oh yes of course <laughs> of course so yes, I lied to him. So I, I left the office and I say, there's no way. He doesn't even know if it's a bacteria. So he, and he told me two days come back because I wanna see how her eyes are and I'll give the results. So obviously two days putting, you know, tea tree, warm water, cleaning her eyes. One day later, her eyes were perfect. I came back and they, he said, oh, her eyes are so good. So the and i said okay what is the result of the lab is it bacteria and he said no it's not but as we can see the you know should i continue with the medication yes please continue with the medication because as you can see it's working i said yes it's perfectly working thank you very much <laughs> and i left the office but so he was like and i said but it's not bacteria so how and, and, and i asked him so if it happens again should i give this medication again and he said no just call me and I will give you the medication again, even though it was not a bacteria. I was like, you know, am I crazy or what? So it happened to me. And obviously if I was not so holistic, I would take the bacteria, the antibiotic, give to my child, destroy her gut for something that was not even a bacteria. Come on, you know, it's just like, that's how doctors are. And um, I, I, just, I just feel amazed of how they just give us something uh and we trust doctors we think they are really uh, i don't know but god sometimes and they know everything but they don't we know our bodies more than doc we are our own doctors we have to really understand and listen to our bodies listen when we don't go to the bathroom too often listen when we are not peeing too often because we need to go right um before we go to the and share with the doctors our concerns and and if they don't want to listen it's just because maybe it's not the right fit right uh doctors should be good listeners and as i am you know with my experience few doctors are good listeners they just want to give you a medication and that's it right because they don't want to listen so that was my little experience with antibiotics how fast they just medicate your child because they get some money that's yeah Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we, we don't listen. We think those side effects, it's okay, it's okay, and it's not. And I think, again, I'm not against antibiotics. I just think uh, on average, actually here in the United States, uh, before one year of age, a child has already taken three different antibiotics. Three, that's the average right? How can it be, right? Could, could it be the food? Could it be lack of 
vitamin D, there's so many variables that can uh, cause a problem in your body that your body's complaining. It's not always bacteria. And the thing is, the doctor always think it's a bacteria. The first thing is bacteria, bacteria. And I have been friends calling me say, you know, I'm the third antibiotics not working. And I say, if you want to stop, let's try something more natural to really overcome. Right. And when we start you know, feeding our body with good nutrients, our body responds, our body recovers so fast, but you have to give this power to our body. We just don't trust our body enough, right? And our body is so powerful and we just trust a medication and we don't trust the power within ourselves, our soldiers. It's literally the soldiers inside our bodies that are constantly trying to communicate with us and we're just trying to put band-aids okay i have a headache band-aid i have you know i'm not digesting band-aid i'm not you know band-aid yes <laughs> teddy you're you're mute on zoom so people on facebook cannot hear you um so and that's why i i love you know carla is just as passionate as we are about advocating for true health uh, and it's really cool and refreshing to hear it from a doctor. And um, I think we need more professionals that are more holistic. I know this word is going to be tossed around a whole bunch, but we have, you know, Dr. Gabriela that you, some of you have met. She's been on Oily Hour with us. She specialized in aromatherapy. She is an immunologist and she's also keen into working holistically and integrative, right? Integrative health. And Dr. Guilherme, he is, um, he is an MD, but he also uh, did his specialization uh, in acupuncture and uh, Chinese medicine. I mean, that's the way I think for me that I want to take care of my family, of the people that I love, right? I, it makes sense to me. It makes sense to take care of the whole instead of just isolated methods, right? Because our body, our emotions, our energy, our spirit, it's all connected. So we cannot pay attention just to one part and ignore the other part. We have to do it holistically. This word is going to be tossed around a bunch today. So, yes. um, and, and another thing too, uh, Dr. Carl, that you, um, you spoke a whole lot about when you talk about the foundation of life is um, the fact that it's not just what we eat. We talk, you talk about nutrition because of course you, you are a nutritionist, but it's also everything around us, right? Yes. yes. Everything. Because one of the biggest problem I'm seeing with children nowadays is lack of sleep. They're not sleeping enough. They are, and th there are a lot of things that can affect your sleep patterns. I think the top one number, I would say food for sure, but Unfortunately, number one is technology, right? How can you make your child go to bed and sleep peacefully if they are on iPads for 10 hours, 12 hours, the blue light, no protection, nothing. Um, and then you give melatonin for the child to sleep, right? So it's just like, okay, let me solve the problem again. And melatonin has become such a natural Everybody, oh, it's so natural. I was, it's very interesting. One of my, my parents, um, fr a friend of my daughter, she said, oh, my daughter, my, she's five. Uh, my daughter's five and her friend is six. And her mother said, you know, I'm giving melatonin to my daughter almost every day. I said, why are you doing that? You know, oh, because sometimes she has, she has a hard time sleeping. I said, why? What do you, the first question is, what is she eating before going to bed? And does she watch? And her answers were, oh, she, she eats just crackers. And she watched, you know, iPad until one second before she goes to bed. And I said, well, well, we already have two problems here, right? But the solution, so we have to understand our body does not produce melatonin suddenly one second before we go to bed. It, the process it starts, our soldier starts producing since the very first time when you wake up, right? When you go, the sun, you know, there's so many minerals and vitamins that really helps you with the production of melatonin, dopamine and everything, right? So if you're just putting that at night into your brain, don't think that there is no correlation with later problems, like with memory. 
sleep, if you have a problem with sleep, you will have a problem with your memory. So one of the, the I think one of the, I don't know who said though, those sentence, but uh, I always try to quote, I'm sorry, I don't know who said that, but he said, if you do not find time to take care of your health, you will find time to take care of your sickness. Right, this is so true. And people say, I don't have time to exercise. I don't have time to eat. Well, I have to go to McDonald's every day. You can do that. You don't have time to take care of your health. It's an option, it's a choice, right? But you will have time to take care of your sickness But because when you're sick, you have to stop, lay down and say, I cannot get out of my bed or I'm in a hospital bed. You will have, there is no choice because your body said, you know, now, take care of me of me or I will die. <laughs> there is no other mm -hmm. option. So I think this is so profound because we always give excuses for not feeding our kids well, right? Oh, because my kid only likes that. Well, is it your kid or who buys the food in your house? Who has the money? Is your kid who goes to the supermarket and pays for everything or, or you go there and you pay? Oh, he likes to watch, uh, you know, video games until nine. Well, who, who is the dad and mom at this house, right? It's you or your kid. So we are kind of changing, you know, patterns here. And then we take a medication and it will cause future problems. Every medication has a side effect. Don't think that it's natural. Mel melatonin that you buy, it's natural. There's nothing. Natural is what your body can produce naturally. That's what's natural. If you have to take mm -hmm. every day, it's not natural. And uh, we talked about this, uh, Dr. Carla, the, the rise on melatonin um, sales uh, through the pandemic, 87% um, prior to before the pandemic for children, we're talking children's uh, uh, supplements with melatonin in it. And some uh, doctors have shared that it's, it's astonishing, you know, the fact that it's being widely used and also the fact that they did a study and tested 31 different melatonin supplements for children and they found that most of the supplements did not have the amount that was listed on the label and in addition 26 percent of the supplements they they contained serotonin and the a hormone right and it can have super really v wow. very questionable harm yeah. effects harmful effects um, even if you take it in very low levels. So, and this is the stuff that we're giving to our little ones. And sometimes yeah. because we don't know, sometimes it's something that we heard. And um, so this is the reason why I, I, I love uh, bringing Carla to talk about this because she's passionate because she knows that there are other ways for us to, to work on this stuff, right? I know that too. Yeah. I'm super passionate about this. And, and one more thing, some of them have, they have color added things, artificial color, which affects the brain, which affects, you know, your focus and your memory and your sleep. So it's counterproductive, which for me is like, you know, why? And just think about one more thing. I'm, I'm talking too much. I'm sorry, but just uh, one more thing. The brain is a muscle. Just so you know, brain is a muscle. You need to exercise your brain. If you're giving something, just imagine um, as a wheelchair. If I'm giving them, a, if I'm telling the brain not to exercise because I'm feeding melatonin, the brain is going to become numb and it's hard for you. Just imagine if you, I don't know if you have ever broken your leg, for you to, you have to go to physiotherapy, to go back and start walking again. It takes effort to, you, to do that. So for you to, for a child to become dependent and drug addictive because of, you know, just melatonin, could it, it is a potential, yeah? What you're doing because your brain's like, no, no, I'm tired. I'm not gonna sleep anymore. I'm not gonna be happy anymore. You know, it's just, so just be careful. It's a brain that needs exercise and stimulation every single day. When you give a pill, you're not stimulating anything because it's ready. It's just ready, it's there. There is no chemical reaction. The soldiers don't have to do anything to produce. Remember, melatonin start producing since the very first day, hour you wake up. So if the soldiers don't have to do anything, they get like, oh, I'm weak, I'm weak, I'm weak. They die. You don't have soldiers anymore to produce melatonin, right? So you need drugs and drugs and drugs all the time. But yeah, I'm, I'm very passionate. I will keep, I'm keep talking. 
<laughs> too much and I love it. And I love it. But, you know, one of the, the things that was really alarming to me was the because of, you know, it was a hard. Th those have been two hard years that we have been going through uh, as much as also we want to have empathy, right, for what is going through because we're all caught off guard. No one was prepared. How do you deal with a pandemic? No one knew. We just knew that. Um, we had to go through a lot of changes and adapt really fast. And because of the lockdown, especially the children, and I feel it personally, uh, for Wallace, who was two years old at the time, for him, he, that's the age, they, the age they start watching your mouth to start speaking, right? And so that definitely affected him. And you can see it now the effects of it. And that's something that Carla and I have been talking about. She does a lot of uh, uh, programs and consulting for a diff or for many different schools here. But also Dr. Brennick Riggs shared that we're seeing this epidemic within the pandemic. Uh, and all the leading experts are now seeing the effects of the pandemic in mental health, right? And we're going to see this for the next several decades. And so the whole point of us getting together and talking so much about this is for you to know that you have choices, you have options, you have tools that can help combat this issue, right? Like, so especially like sleep, we're talking sleep and mental health, which is all connected. And um, they quoted two studies that were published by Harvard, in 2019, and they talk about probiotics with, within the gut, and that, again, that axis, right, that connects the gut and the brain, and some of the research has found that probiotics will help uh, cognitive function and will lower stress and anxiety, so it's as simple as you being able to understand that you can just add things to your routine that will change completely the outcome of how you feel and the, the outcome of the next years of your life and also your family's life, right? So yeah. every change that I propose here is very much connected to the children. I am very keen into uh, how I want to be available for them in the, in the next decades, you know? And emotionally speaking, I, I love my mother, but she's never had the tools to be emotional, emotionally available, but I do, I have no excuses now. So going back to empathy, we are empathetic at the same time. Um, I, I have very little empathy for the people that are not doing the work because we have the tools to do the work. So I think it's a very fine balance there, right? To, to come from a place of being proactive instead of being in, in a place of being a victim. And we're not victims, we're not, you have choices. You have people who hold your hand and walk you through the process for you to be able to have these tools at hand. And this is how we have been able to kind of glide through the pandemic, right? Teddy can speak on it too, and uh, Sasha as well, um, because it's not that it didn't hit us, it did just like everybody else, but we had tools to cope with the, the times that we're living in. And just to close here with Dr. Carla, cause she has, um, she has to go. But the next topic that I want to invite you to speak on, and that's gonna be a, a topic that I know you will love is something that I read today that says that one in two adults in the USA are projected to have obesity by 2030 and about one in four will have severe obesity. So, and that's something that we, I want to speak a little bit more about, um, because again, I know that we have tools for people to be able to cope and 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 come out of it victorious. You know, you can you can have good health, you can live well in this lifetime. You you came in in this planet to live well, not not to not do the opposite. You came here to live well, yeah. and this is the whole idea, right? I love that. And then let's think about obesity and depression, obesity and lack of of you know, motivation, there is obesity and mental health also correlated. So if, if one of two is going to be obese, one of two will have mental health issues. Right now it's one in four. Um, and so our, what are we doing, right, with our mental health paradigm? So we have to do this shift for sure. It was a pleasure being here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carla. So many I good nuggets. See.
I'll see you guys uh, in the 22nd or 3rd of March, right? She's going to uh, be in Phoenix with us. Yes. <laughs> That's so exciting. <laughs> Yay. I'll be Thank there. You, Carla. Thank you, Carla. So exciting. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Ah, so cool, huh? Wow. You guys get to meet her. Oh, so many good pieces. I mean, for me, she just really speaks to how important it is to facilitate the natural processes in our body um, that, you know, like one thing like gut health, really, it is the main thing can have just a ripple effect on our mental wellness um, and our health, our longevity for forever. Um, and yeah, we got to stop band-aiding. We got to yes. start facilitating. Ditch the melatonin for sure. <laughs> exactly we, we we can take a look at it we were talking before in off here before we hopped on we were talking about some of the other tools that have been um yeah. used and th there's no judgment you know you choose whatever works for you at the same time i feel that we have things that we need to talk about that uh, are important because there are ripple effects of everything that we do and um going to sometimes narcotics, right, which is quite common, or going to um, sometimes solutions that are not going to give you the best outcome. It will give you very harsh consequences. So if we can avoid that, or if you are in it and you feel like, huh, I want to make a change, right, um, just make sure that you know that you do have choices every single time. We're coming from hope and solutions always, always, always. Um, so one of the, the things that we also want to talk about is something super exciting. And I'll let Christina share about that. And it's very Hawaii connected. Hi everybody, happy Monday. Um, so I am really excited to share some news with you um, from doTERRA that they are um, creating a very super limited edition oil called Ma Lama. And um, I, I am not Hawaiian. I was not born there. Sasha can help. Teddy is there. And so everybody else is actually literally on island right now but me. Um, but that's OK. That's OK. Um, oh, you, all right. OK, so Teddy's in California with me, but that's OK. Um, but the, the thing about Malama and, and Hawaii is that I had the, the amazing opportunity to live there for almost a decade and, and learn about the culture of the people. And Malama is a really important word to the people because um, it means to care for. Um, but it, it, like so many other Hawaiian words, it's so much deeper than that, right? So it's um, it's almost like a um, a responsibility to care for things. Um, so in Hawaii, you'll hear the terminology malama aina or malama okekai, and and that's to care for your land or for your ocean because um, as island people, or really people of the earth as we all should be living. Um, we, we do have this intense responsibility to care for um, the earth that we, we live on and, um, and get our resources from. So it's, it's not only about um, caring for things, it's also an intense responsibility to give back. And um, so I'm super happy to announce, um, sorry, let me pull up the page really quickly, um, that but doTERRA has created this blend called Malama out of a lot of different um, oils that they resource from Hawaii, including the very important Hawaiian sandalwood. And um, the, the amazing thing about um, sandalwood and Hawaii and doTERRA is that they have this really huge um, effort going on right now to reforest this amazing area this land space on big island um, with the sandalwood trees and um, this area historically has been deforested because of uh, cattle um, 
I don't know if there, there's a lot of cattle on Big Island and cattle farming. And um, so what happened throughout the years, as is common in, in many different areas in the United States and actually all over the world, um, is this deforestation to, to deal with other agriculture things. And so um, unfortunately, we want to make sure that, uh, or fortunately, we want to make sure that we bring back the resources that are so critical to Hawaii, um, these very important sandalwood trees, but also um, there are other oils in it um, that are really important to Hawaii and endemic to Hawaii, which means that they only grow there. So it's a really great thing. Um, in, in my personal opinion, that, that doTERRA is doing this whole Malama blend. So if you'd like to get a sample of it, then what you need to do is just make your um, LRP order this month with 125 points or more, and we will be getting a little sample. Um, and I think it's going to be available to us all next month, if I am correct. But yeah, mm -hmm. I'm... I'm very excited Great. about Malama. I just love this excited. initiative so much. Uh, I mean, growing up here, like there's just the, this intense love for nature. And when we speak about Malama, of course, it's this responsibility to give back and it's this responsibility to sustain because nature and the land gives so much to our, our wellness, our vitality to our life. Um, and so to plant like all of these Hawaiian sandalwood trees and to know that it's gonna be here for generations to enjoy, even future generations um, to enjoy that these past haven't, they haven't even had the opportunity to walk through a Hawaiian sandalwood forest that lush, like so cool. Um, and yeah, we just, we love blends. We love like the real intentionality behind that and the, the community. Um, initiative that it brings people together to want to to want to give back yeah and nice. for those of you who don't know community and giving back is um a really key pillar for doTERRA um for the company itself and for most of um us who who are involved with the company um it's a huge core value that we really um are so proud of. And a lot of the events that we gather at, um, the the company finds a way for us to, to give back to the community that we are um, located in. So we there was a leadership retreat, I believe, in Hawaii, um, and, and they were able to go and, and plant sandalwood trees. Recently, there was a trip oh, in Jamaica, and, and they found um, a neighborhood to plant, I believe, pineapple or, or something. So um, in Mexico, they built bikes. So there, there's always something doTERRA is doing. And right now, we're helping Ukraine, if you're interested. We have somebody actually right now in Moldova who is physically present giving teddy bears and stuffed animals. It's amazing what this company does for others. So if this is important to you, kind of think about think about joining us in our mission. It's so important. That's amazing. And also, um, uh, Christina gets really emotional and I love it because she's she a biologist, you know, and she's very connected to the land and she did a whole lot of work here in Hawaii uh, in my marine biology, especially with the whales and that was beautiful work that she's done. And um, that's why the connection right with uh, Hawaii and the connection with nature and the moment that we understand that we're all part of it is the moment that you understand that if you don't take care of the land, it makes no sense um, to to, to do anything else really, because if it's not good for the land, it's not good for the humans that live on the land. And we, through doTERRA, I learned this more intensely, more uh, of the malama, the responsibility and to, to take care of, right? And uh, there's other words too that's called kuliana in Hawaiian. Yes. That was one of the first words that I learned. And that is the responsibility to understand your part. And that's what I've learned through doTERRA is also mm -hmm. where I'm going to put my dollar. 
I do choose the companies that I spend money on and usually uh, not the big companies. So if you walk through my home and this is very, and sometimes it's not the most convenient, right? It yeah. is um, mm -hmm. mostly local. It's mostly small mom and pop shops. It's mo even, let's talk like baby wipes. I've tried to got, get away from them for the longest time, but it's almost something that I have to have, you know, with three little kids. So I do give my money to the companies that are good, the companies that do regenerative agriculture. And that really makes you trace back to the source of everything. And that is one of the main pillars of what we do in doTERRA is sourcing. If it's not good for the land, it's not good for humans because we live on the land, right? So it's quite common sense, but it's not so common for a lot of people. So we're just gonna keep bringing this up. So to drill in, in you, and all of us for the next generations. And so they can they can have a different reality because it's something that has been um, on our radar on the forefront of everything that we do since day one, right? Take care of the land. So this is very sacred to Hawaii too. So what they have done in Hawaii is really beautiful. And oh, um, I love Teddy, that. talking about um, responsibility. <laughs> Teddy has big responsibility when it comes to sports and being able to be she's like the perfect um example of somebody that lives this lifestyle and thrives through um sports and being able to recover faster and that's something that's really inspiring to all of us and she proudly says her age all the time and i love that too so teddy tell us a little bit about your lifestyle uh, how you keep it up <laughs> Okay, so hi, I'm Teddy, and I am on level five. Yes, um, and I enjoy just, I, I love the outdoors. I live in Hawaii. Um, I live in this beautiful, amazing place in Hawaii. I love to get into the ocean. I like to surf, and I mean, I grew up, you know, hyperactive and just always constantly playing, played sports in high school, and then after high school, I just, you know, I like to do things like mountain bike. I got into snowboarding and um, that was actually one of my, one of my passions before moving to Hawaii was actually, um, you know, converting from skiing into snowboarding. And um, early in, back in the day, there weren't very many girls that were doing it. And um, so it was funny because I, I have kind of this label, like people say, oh my God, you've got like a teenage boy kind of thing going on. And I say, yeah, I identify as a teenage boy. Because when I'm on a snowboard, I'm like, you know, skating around and all that. So um, I love doTERRA's products to, you know, keep me going. And i um, been using the deep blue uh, with my kids and my family. And I want to talk about this month's special. So this is the, the, for the month of March, we have this reach for relief promotion. So any new customers, I know, any new customers who enroll, with an order of at least 150 PV will receive a deep blue 5 ml oil. And here's the ml oil. And I actually converted the top to a roll on. Um, but you're gonna get one of these 5, five ml oils and you're gonna get the deep blue rub free with their order. So you wanna take advantage of that. Um, and it's not just good for, you know, sports or any, you know, you can use it for kids who have growth spurts, you could use it um, if you're feeling, you know, achy in the joints, um, you know, sore knees, ankles, hips, back. Um, it also helps with head tension. You can put a drop or rub a little bit of, of the deep blue on the back of the neck or the shoulders. Um, deep blue is definitely one of my favorite um, soothing blend oils. You guys want to chime in? Totally agree. I love Deep Blue too. It's one of my favorite blends. Um, that and Breathe. Well, and now Adaptive. So I've got three favorite blends. Um, but it's always my go-to. If I ever work in the yard or um, go, you know, work out after a while or do a more intense workout than I'm used to, um, definitely have the deep blue with me. And and I do love all different modalities. Um, there's the oil, as Teddy mentioned, and the, the rub that you get with this promotion, but there's other things such as the, um, the deep blue polyphenol complex that Sasha's got in her hand. Um, 
love that especially if i'm go for example i got in an automobile accident and that was great for that this um roll the stick that pam's got in her hand is my newest favorite um especially because you don't have to touch the area you apply it to so who if you if you work out if you do um you know your jujitsu if you do whatever you do get this deep blue but a little secret here which is not a secret if you tend to procrastinate, which we all do, I do, um, I, I can be a really good yeah. pro procrastinator, <laughs> but I have tools to make me not be that. Um, and, and sometimes there's a place for procrastination, but most times when you have three kids, a husband, two businesses and living in two countries, you don't. So you have to get your button gear. You do deep blue on the bottoms of your big toes. And that, that does the trick. We've had many testimonials about it. And it gives you that oomph that you need to get pushed to do the things that you said that you're going to do. So very, very sure. powerful. Amazing. And Thank you, the, the stick that you also showed is one of our newest uh, products. And it is great for arthritis and joint pain. So um, it is an over-the-counter. We are, we are allowed to say that it's yes. used for these things. So, I, yes. so it can be used for it. We can make the medical might be able to assume. So this one, this one you can use for arthritis and pain in general, right? Yes, um, I love it. And it has copaiba in it. That's what makes it even more potent. Copaiba is from Brazil. We love copaiba. Copaiba, kind of like the same story with uh, sandalwood in Hawaii. Copaiba is for Brazil. Very, very powerful um, tree from the Amazon. And um, lots of um, cannabinoids in that in because of the copaiba so very very powerful combo there amazing teddy thank you so much and we also have um grace is gonna jump on here with us to no i'm gonna up. cover her i'm gonna oh, cool yeah. Gonna, um so but real quick the other the other promo that's going on this month is the raven sara the raven sara blend or not blend it's the oil so um if you do your 125 pvs besides that malama blend you get your raven sara and this one's a uh one that is also known as ho wood oil which i actually just learned that i didn't realize that they were um equal names really i had no idea either i had no idea either so i just learned that um and so this is really awesome you'll find this in our breathe blend which i just i just mentioned is one of my favorite blends um really great for opening the airways for those of us who are feeling congested or if we are runners or we work out or we are required to wear masks or other things over our face this is really fantastic um to really help open up those airways it is um it's from a camper tree so it has a, a similar um smell of eucalyptus but it doesn't have camphor in the oil it's interesting the um the chemical makeup of it but um i won't go that deep the important thing to know is it's great for opening up airways it's great for your skin um it's great for when you're not feeling well so if you're wanting to make your 125 point value um or more order this month you'll get it for free and in that little bottle that you're holding, Christina, the 5ml bottle of Ravensara takes one pound of plant material to make that happen. Yes, so these plants really source from Madagascar. Yeah. yeah, super, super, super powerful. I love Ravensara. Yeah, it has and, a calming uh, and a cleansing oil. So that's the chemical makeup if you wanted to know. So if you want to, if you're, if you're feeling those feelings and you need to calm down, this is a good one. If you Again, if you need to put it on your face to help with blemishes or what, whatever it needs to be. Yeah. I love that. Thank you. And uh, great, uh, great. I'm going to call Grace again, Sasha. Sasha and Grace are sisters. So it's kind of like we can call them Sasha Grace. Two peas in a pod. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we have uh, Dr. Hill's Evolve Tour. Yeah. Oh, Talk I'm a little so bit about I that. missed it, but. Uh, you know, I got a lot of juicy little bites from you guys going over there. Um, Dr. Hill's amazing. He's a chiropractor. He's also the head doctor of doTERRA. Um, really makes science easy to understand, even just for like the normal consumer. Um, so 
if you are on the mainland, I don't even know what dates are left, but look up the Evolve tour. He um, really shares something up and coming this coming month. I don't even know. Can I talk Aroma Touch? Can I, can yes, I lead on please. with that? Okay. Yes. So being a chiropractor, Dr. Hill developed something called the Aroma Touch Technique. Um, and essentially it's a way to administer oils in a very layered, precise, not super precise, but intentional way um, so that you can maximize the benefits. Um, and so there is a training coming up um, that trains on aroma touch on the back, but there's also a special way to do it just on your hands. And it's all about touch. This tour is really about getting people together to start looking to the future of how we can get people back to having touch, back to having that face-to-face -face contact and um, reaping the benefits of oils and, and enjoying the education over touch. So um, I missed it. I'm really bummed I didn't, but there are a couple more tours left check it out. Um, Diamond Club is also happening right now, right? Um, so uh, is it happening now or is it? It's, um, it's month uh, It's month two. It's month and two. When people ask me how I travel so much, right? Uh, I've been traveling since I, I launched my, uh, my, my business with doTERRA. When I partnered with doTERRA, I understood that I could take this globally. And that's always something that I've wanted i've wished for especially to build a bridge between hawaii and sao paulo literally like it's probably the longest bridge ever but it, it's a it's something that i've always wanted and doTERRA is my bridge and we've talked about this many times and diamond club was the reason why i was able to expand within doTERRA is um you travel through this club for four months. You choose, right? You choose to travel, you, you don't. But you, in Diamond Club, you have to travel at least 50 miles away from your town. And of course, when you're in Hawaii and you decide to build in the mainland and expand to the mainland and other countries, you're traveling, right? So Diamond Club is a, a wonderful way to be able, it's a, it's a school. So for me, Diamond Club was a school. That's how I learned how to how this business works. And that's how I learned to kind of uh, have all balls in the air because Addie was a little tiny baby. <laughs> she was four months. And how I learned that it was possible to be a mama and, and have a business. And that was, um, that was one of the best things that happened to me was uh, Diamond Club through four years of my first four years. That's what I did to to be able to expand so diamond club is incredible i i highly recommend you focus on hitting uh the qualifications which is gold so if you're not in doTERRA you you won't understand but if you are in doTERRA you will understand you have a few qualifications that you have to meet in order to do diamond club but um it, it's um i recommend it 200 amazing amazing way to to expand and then silver club you guys did it right sasha how was silver club for you what is silver club, club? Silver Club is essentially a program similar to Diamond Club, except you don't need to travel. Um, and you are essentially competing with everybody else that's made the requirements um, to just enroll people and engage with your community. And you're like just getting your feet wet and building this business. And part of the incentive of joining this club is you get to gift your people that you are teaching about the lifestyle and teaching about doTERRA um, free product. So that's that's like the incentive. There's so much give back culture <laughs> with doTERRA. It's just like, oh, you're gonna engage more like here, <laughs> like receive more. Uh, and that's yeah. that's the really fun part about the clubs. And hey, when was the last time you bought something and it came with the whole community? <laughs> uh, huh. I love it. It's like, you can't help it. If you're going to start in doTERRA, it's going to come with a whole lot more than just the cute little bottles or, you know, the products that you're going to get. And that's the best. For part real, you do. better be prepared. <laughs> yes, totally. Yeah. But what a great community it comes with. How uh, lucky that's we are. The best. I'm yeah. so excited for, we're going to see each other in a few days and you're going to be in Phoenix together. Yes. Um, that's our, our my, my doTERRA family. And one thing to finish up, we always... Um, we're now finishing with an inspiring quote. For me, the, 
that was a quote that I really needed to hear today. And it says, uh, control how you respond to things sent to destroy your peace. Um, and that was really powerful for me to be able to kind of breathe it in and understand that we have control over a few things. We don't have control over everything, obviously. But the ones that we do, we, you, you have the power to choose. So today, I think, was the topic of the whole conversation, right? The power of choice. Mm -hmm. So control how you respond to things sent to destroy your peace. We can control that. Oh, yeah. Okay, my loves. Uh, thank you so Thanks. much for your presence, for your love. Thank you for thank existing. You. I'm so grateful for all of you. And we see you. Happy Monday. Yeah. See you Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Have Aloha. a great week. And reach out to us if you have any questions. Bye. Bye. Okay, we're stopping streaming on Facebook too. Bye, Facebook.